Hi everybody, Bean Meister 22 here. Today we're going to look at my new Black Widow tank, and you guys know my last one just failed miserably for a couple reasons. Now, we're not going to do a tank this time. Remember we used lizard tanks with a different kind of lid on it, and I had spider escapes and just had all kind of problems? So we're going to try something new. Now this is a large jar... And as you can see, it has a spigot on it. It's for lemonade or juice or iced tea or something. Something along those lines, right? Hopefully, this will work better than the tanks I've tried in the past. Now, what we had to do on this, we have to plug up the bottom where the spigot is because we don't want the Black Widow figuring out how to get out that spigot. Now, I learned a couple tricks from my good friend Leo Kim, Leo Kim Video, but let me just tell you this. Black Widow tanks are horrible for a couple reasons, at least they're horrible to film for a couple of reasons. When you keep Black Widows in a jar or a container, they have a tendency to kind of hang upside down from the lid or the roof of the container, which makes it very difficult for you to open it up to put food in or, you know, do whatever you're going to do. So by giving them a central structure in order to hang out on or hang out in or hang out or make webs from, hopefully that will take care of that problem. And the other big problem, remember I said there's two problems, the other big problem is escapes, especially when you can see these black widows that I've had captured for less than a week are already laying egg sacs and tending them. Black widows lay egg sacs like, like, like rabbits, they breed like rabbits, or spiders, I mean, they, there's just a lot of them. Now when those little spider babies hatch, they are definitely tiny enough to get out of the salt shakers. And they are also definitely tiny enough to get out of a standard mesh on top of a lizard cage. And we had that problem before. A suggestion I saw in one of Leo Kim videos. Videos is cheesecloth. Use that on top. That should maybe keep the spider babies in. So what I did is I went down to a hardware store and I got one of these furnace filters. It's a, just kind of a cotton or not, whatever the fibers are. It's, it's a air filter. It should allow enough air to go through, but it should keep the spider babies inside. And I'm really looking forward to trying this because I think it's a great idea. Of course, because I had it. Let's toss a couple little bugs in there. We have some flightless fruit flies. And we'll throw in a couple ladybugs. Maybe a small cricket or two. So with the center structure anchored down, it's not going to go anywhere. We have the filter attached to the lid, holes in the lid, it's time for a spider. Now we're just going to have to see what happens. So what do you think? Is this a better idea to do it this way than the last Black Widow spider tank we had? So leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. And yes, I hate Black Widows, but they're all over my house. Remember, redback spiders are just like Black Widow spiders, except they live in Australia, and they probably speak with an Australian accent. I'm not sure, but that's my guess. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.